this reaction video, man, is this is how I manage the pressure of being Cristiano, pressure of being chosen one, pressure of being one of the greatest, pressure of being selected to be dominant over a long period of time, the pressure of having to day after day prove to yourself that you're the best version of yourself, compete for the glory and the right to be called the greatest of all time. And even if that goal is not attained, many who may not consider you the greatest, there's no denying that they consider you to be one of the greatest of all time. You manage the pressure. I think we may learn a lot of key points in this that allows us to be the best version of ourselves. I might learn something here that I might be doing or you know, what's the thing that's missing from allowing me to manage the pressure of being involved or help you manage the pressure of being your true self. By the time we allow people to dictate our happiness. And the funny thing is the people that we allow to dictate our happiness oftentimes are not the ones that have our best interests at all, nor can they ever be satisfied or happy with everything we do. So we continue to live in misery until our last breath. Is that what you want to do? If you believe in God, that level of idolatry that jeopardize your own happiness and self and well-being and mental health and physical health and all those things, just to make that person happy who will never be happy, never be grateful or anything. Really? Is that what we really want to do, bro? If you believe in God, the only person you should be worried about pleasing or making happy is God. If you're an atheist, I don't see the point of you being atheist, not believing in God or our power. But yet you treat this person like God, you're clinging on to everything and you, rather than that person helping you or elevate you, you it makes you worse. All right, we're Christian, all right? You can have a bad day, turn the TV on. You know, a lot of people, sports is therapy. And he's having a great day and everything goes away. You might be having a bad day and you panic. Like, ah, oh, Christian, I just hope. And then, you know, or you may look at him from a business standpoint and be like, He's a great businessman. He's endorsements. You want to have deals like him or the way he markets himself or the way that he's never really ending the scandals. I may have made mistakes, but the way he does things, you can see like, yeah, I don't know, bro. Maybe I'm just rambling on and mumbling about nothing. So let's get into the video. Responsibility. Since I was 11, when I left home, I already had responsibility at that age. More or less, it depends on each person's point of view and perspective. I'm the most watched guy, and so it means I always have responsibility. As a player, as a friend, as a father. I enjoy having that responsibility. Often more responsibility means more pressure. Sometimes things go well, sometimes they don't. It depends on the situation, on the moment, on the heat. I'm not perfect. But I feel qualified to take on the pressures that I have to take on. That's a great way of looking at it. Kind of like what I was saying earlier. Because they're not perfect. No one's perfect. But he understands that and understands with great power comes great responsibility. He's the most watched guy. He always have a responsibility to put on a show, put his best foot forward and all the time try to be an example that kids can look up to, role models, stuff like that. He'll have challenges and ups and downs. Sometimes you come out victorious, and sometimes not so much. It may end up on the side of defeat, and uh, that that hurts, you know. But it's just part of the journey. 
and it depends on each person's perspective as well. 